Well, you are right. Uh, we are in a deep recession. We forecast now a shrinking of 6% of GDP for this year and then also recovery in 2021. Probably the worst point is behind us. That was probably in April and May, and now it's already a little bit improving. But 6% uh, shrinking is quite a bit, and uh, uh, it's quite a lot, and uh, we need now a recovery. We need a monetary policy that remains expansionary, but also a fiscal policy that is supporting the recovery in Switzerland. And you've been intervening in currency markets. This has been one of the key pillars of your monetary policy uh, stance to stem the franc's natural advance. Clearly, it's a safe haven here. When you say you've made substantial interventions in recent weeks, can you give us any more granularity? Well, we are not really here uh, specific on that, but you can look at our balance sheet and you see probably what are the amounts. But what is very necessary is really that we maintain the negative interest rate and that we are willing to intervene in foreign exchange market even more strongly if the situation asks for that. Uh, we have a safe haven currency. The Swiss franc is uh, highly uh, valued and we have to maintain uh, monetary conditions that are appropriate given uh, the negative in inflation rate, and also to forecast that inflation will all only go back to positive territories in 2022. So the negative rates and the willingness to intervene even more strongly are very important and necessary at the moment. And clearly this strategy has been effective in controlling the currency, but it really isn't without risk. Are you concerned about the risk of being labeled a currency manipulator? Well, we are doing always a cost-benefit analysis regarding our monetary policy, regarding the instruments, the negative interest rate, but of course also the interventions. But it's also very important that uh, our policy has nothing to do with uh, currency manipulation. So we have a Swiss franc that is a safe haven currency. It's highly uh, valued. And we have a deflation environment. So uh, inflation is negative uh, even for more than two years. So we are forced in order not to let the Swiss franc appreciate too much. So this is very important to have a reasonable monetary policy. It's no bigger your neighbor policy, and uh, we do not uh, get any uh, uh, advantage by that. But we have to avoid that the Swiss franc becomes too strong and that we fall into a deflationary, long-term deflationary environment. Mm. And on the topic of negative rates, uh, you chose to leave rates where they are today. But I'm curious in terms of the outlook for rates, will it take longer now to get out of negative rates than it would have previously? Well, given the inflation outlook, I think this is a likely uh, scenario. We do not have any specific uh, time frame for changing monetary policy, for, but for the time being, it's very important to stick to this expansion in monetary policy, to the same negative interest rate. We even have a potential to lower rates further if necessary, uh, but the inflation outlook worsened, so uh, we will have a positive inflation only in 2022. Uh, that means that our policy has to reflect that, and we have to stick to the uh, expansion in monetary policy for some time. And you mentioned scope to go further. Uh, what is the lower bound we're talking about here? Well, we always make an analysis regarding the economic situation, especially also given uh, the uh, inflation outlook. And then we choose our policy instruments. Uh, we have room on all the different instruments that we are now implementing, so uh, regarding uh, the negative interest rate, but also, of course, the interventions. Uh, we do are do a cost-benefit analysis, what is the appropriate policy mix. And then, of course, we try to bring back inflation over time into the range of price stability and to support the Swiss economy uh, during this uh, very difficult uh, period. Now, there's growing debate at other central banks around the world about the potential implementation of negative rates in the UK, in the US even. It's becoming um, more and more of a hot topic. What would that mean for you if we do see the UK and or the US move toward negative rates? Well, the Swiss economy is highly integrated in the global economy. So for us, it's very important that the global economy recovers. Uh, both in mm. Europe, but also in the United States and in Asia. So a policy that is supporting the recovery globally, especially also in Europe, 
is of course helpful for, for, for us. At the same time, uh, the Swiss franc is a safe haven currency. The interest rate differential is also something important. And uh, that, uh, also all the policies could have an impact then on the exchange rate. And we have to take that into consideration when we are deciding on our policy.